morning, fam. Anyway, brothers and sisters, my apologies for not being on Discord as often as I, sh I would like to be, right? Not as should be, but I'd like to be because it's not my Discord, it's Jesus' Discord. He just put me at the helm for a little while until I die. No, I'm only joking. Um, there's a work in the kingdom, but Anna has been blessed all day with the Spirit, right? She, she, she DM'd me. And I'll just read, excuse the haircut, by the way. Um, the Lord's been all, over all day giving the goosebumps. And I, I, I felt the message was for me. It was for me, the way she said it. Because um, I, feel, I, feel I, I feel we have been vibrating on a higher frequency. We are, brothers and sisters. All of us, just the souls, the body, mind and the spirit. And Anna was saying that praise is coming over strongly that we should praise. Now, not two weeks ago, we were singing and praying and praising on, on the uh, chat. And I want it back again, please. I want more. Jamie, Kathy, I want more. Tommy, I want more, please. Because we should be. And I agree with Anna. And I can't read the whole message because I've got it in the wrong place. I didn't write it down. But, you know, are we a house built on stone or are we a house built on sand? Think of the Lean and Tower of Pisa that was built on a bad foundation and it's a bit it's a bit if now, isn't it? You know, are we starting with the right direction? You know, if we have accepted the kingdom, we are citizens of the kingdom. We are citizens of the kingdom. Do you know what that means? Wherever we are, the kingdom is. It is. If we walk into Tesco's or Walmart or wherever, the kingdom of God is going with us. If we're walking in the spirit, you've got to come to mind that have we accepted Jesus to get into heaven or have we accepted Jesus to bring the kingdom down and do his work? Fundamental difference. Fundamental difference. You've got to ponder on that because I brought it down because I, I never thought, I thought I was going to die before I went to heaven. Well, it might not be the case now. It's knocking on the door with all that's going on. But I did and I thought, well, I, I, I want more of him. I want more of him. I want his kingdom, you know. And I, I just read what we should be up to in uh, Luke 9. We're ambassadors for the kingdom. We're citizens. When I'm a citizen, if I was a citizen of Chester in the UK and I went to Douglas in Scotland, then I'd be taking the ways, a certain amount of the ways with me. Because I know Chester. I, I'm part, and, and now we are citizens of the Most High. We're citizens of heaven. And that should be with us. The ways of our heavenly home should be with us here on earth. So that we can do the work. What is the work? Well, praise is one of them. Now, I've been driven to send out gospel. To send out the message. To draw down the spirit to get people to realise the spiritual gifts. And, you know, I only discovered yesterday why people do not get the messages. Now, I don't know if this is something of the enemy or not, but the it was 12 seconds, but now the average retention for a human being is 8 seconds. Average. So some must have really poor retention. The best is four, point, uh, four and three quarter minutes. Best recorded, that is, according to Google. But what I'm saying is, we haven't got a lot of retention to get a message across. So short messages that say the word is what I'm trying to do, you know. And it's nobody's fault. My, my retention isn't very good either. But I often wondered about that. So we really have to exercise our retention. And when it comes to spiritual things, we have to learn, study and work towards the gift we have to try it out we have to have a go and fail it's better to be embarrassed in Christ isn't it but you will succeed sooner or later because the kingdom of God is in your heart my heart you know um but I had to get this over it's not so much as a gospel <clears throat> message tonight as much of a passing on to what we should be doing and where we should be going. Because we don't know. We've got great dates set by Minister Reveal. And, and others, you know, have set the dates. 
and and I'm not setting a date, you know where I feel on that, simply because I won't voice it, I still have a heart for it. But it's, I'm saying it's soon. But it, it might not happen there. And we've still got to do the work for one, two, three, four days, months, whatever. Because we call the kingdom down in accepting Jesus by faith. In accepting Jesus by faith. You know, we can talk about the lamps being lit, the wise virgins couldn't give their oil away because it was probably the deeds they'd done. It wasn't theirs to give away. They were stored away. Just, just me. But what are the gifts? And we find this in Luke 9. Now, I'm doing this in the NLT, the New Living Translation, simply because of evangelism, you know, that gets the message across where people can understand. I, like the students here, use the uh, King James Version and other versions to study with. Uh, to, to pinpoint the word, but I, I find the standard Niv and other Bibles adequate, so don't troll me, fam. Okay. <laughs> but I'll get to Anna's. I'm not, I'm not missing Anna's because Anna's driven this whole um, video. Okay, so we're getting there. I wanna, that's the epitaph. But uh, one day Jesus called together his 12 disciples and gave them power and authority to cast out demons and heal all diseases. Then he sent them out to tell everyone about the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. That's our job. To which I've failed so many times. That's our job. We are. <laughs> we are disciples. Are we not? Or are we just wanting to get... Our, our way, our way. Do we want it God's way or do we want it our way? Are we using our, our lack of understand, uh, getting things in? Are we hungry enough for the right things? Are we hungry enough for the gospel? Are we hungry enough to find out how to get these gifts that God has promised us through our prophet Kathy and our great prayer warriors? These gifts are supposed to be common, brothers and sisters. The power and authority one day Jesus called together his 12 disciples and gave them power and authority. We're doing it in the authority of Lord Jesus. Jesus of Nazareth who came in the flesh, died and rose again on the third day. It's his authority. The power is the Holy Spirit. Not our power. It's the Holy Spirit within us. He's given us the power. We're a team. The kingdom of God is here in you and me. Okay? Get hold of it. That's what it is. And I'll tell you how we're going to get hold of it. Because we're listening to people who prophesy, who hear from the Spirit, get spiritual things. You know, Anna's got discernment. She feels the Spirit. Um, and is of great value to God and Jesus. Great value. I'll say that, Anna, because you are, sister. And a warrior to watch over Discord. But power and authority. Now go out, the twelve disciples, and gave them power. But that was a like a, but you'll need these. Okay. You can go out, you can make a thousand videos a day if you want. You, know, you can do that what you want. But I want you to do this. But you'll need these. How switched on are we in? To Jesus. How switched on? Are we on our knees? Are we spending our quiet times? Do not neglect your time with Jesus. Time with Jesus, it's lovely being in fellowship. I, I think it's fantastic. But time with Jesus is in the Word and on your knees. I sing as well. You know, I, I'm fortunate I can. Or, or play, you know, so I can worship that way, but you can sing. But then he goes on authority to cast out all demons. And to heal all diseases. <laughs> then he sent them out to tell everybody about the kingdom of God to heal the sick. Sick. We're disciples. We are working towards the kingdom. As we get saved, when we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, that is the only way to salvation, by the way, Romans 10, 9 and 10. Then that's the beginning of the journey. 
And the quicker we get that retention span, more than eight seconds or four and a half minutes, or whatever it is, the more we're going to get into the direction of the God. But the direction of God, did I say the God? It is the God. The direction of God is to do these things. Because you are a disciple from the very word go. From the very first time you accept Jesus as your Lord, you will get the Holy Spirit. So the kingdom is in you and in Tesco's and on the bus and in the taxi. It's just how do we exercise it? We've been promised it's coming. Are we looking for the gifts? Now, because of Anna's faithfulness, she gives us song 66. She said that she's been goosebumps. That's, that's, what she, that's what she gets. Goosebumps when the spirit's all over her. And she gave us Psalm 66, make a, joy, joy, a joyful noise. Now, the joyful noise is in prayer and praying and worship, you know. Now, I'll read it again in New Living Testament for the purpose of, not the students, for the purpose of those who are new to Jesus. New to the Christ. Shout joy, praises to God, all the earth. Sing about the glory of his name. Tell the world how glorious he is. Say to God how awesome are your deeds. Your enemies cringe before your mighty power. Have we got the power? They cringe before the power. His power in his name. Because we've accepted Jesus. Everything on earth will worship you. They will sing your praises, shouting your name and glorious songs. We have the authority in Jesus Christ and through the Holy Spirit. We have their power. Not ours. They have gifted us if we take it in our suitcase. If I walked up with a million pounds, dollars, whatever, and said to you, here's a million, a million quid here, that's our slang, you're not going to just walk her down the street like that, you're going to put it in a bag, aren't you? you're going you're gonna to get it, well put Jesus in your heart because he's more than a million quid, and stack it nicely because he's going on a journey with you, and he wants to go on a journey with you, as the Holy Spirit is with you, waiting for you to act, we're going to sing, what I want out of Discord is for Jamie and Tommy and Kathy, and, and, and I will join in, and those with voice, and there's been others, Emmy, um, to start, please start singing again and praising the Lord. I've been a bit distant from Discord. It really is not a, uh, a thing, guys. I, I'm absolutely fine. I'm just constantly doing this, as I said before. But the kingdom is in us. We are ambassadors. We are citizens of the most high place. You know, when Jesus said, freely I give and freely receive, you receive. Freely you give and freely you receive. This is the gifts. You know, Peter said, gold and silver I have done, but what I have I give to you. And he healed. Whoa. Don't you think you can? Don't you think you're entitled to? Who's telling you that lie? As a group, we can encourage ourselves. He says we should be doing the things today that Jesus did. You, go out, you will go out and do greater things. And we're not sitting down and asking the question. It is simply because either we're... Well, not simply because. either. And I'm saying me, not you. There's no condemnation in Christ. It's just to prick the mind. <clears throat> Am I doing the things I want to do in this life with Jesus quite predominant, but just there? Or am I doing the things that he wants me to do? Sitting patiently, accepting the spirit, praising and worshipping. Am I doing the things for the kingdom? Have I said, it is all yours? Have I emptied out my pride? Have I emptied out my selfishness? Am I getting the fruits of the spirit? That are not just love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, and so on and so forth. That is actually the work, the fruits of the Spirit. When I stand in front of the, the Lord and he says to me, I gave you my faith. I gave you faith when you were a lad. What have you done with it? 
Uh, uh, now we did a graph last night to show that don't, don't despair just by spreading the word to one, two, three. It'll go out and you'll be rewarded for that. I'm sure that he'll get there. It will get there and he'll say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Okay. <laughs> when you see the gifts, this is what I want to finish on. When you see the gifts, then you know the kingdom is at hand. Get it? When you see the gifts, you know the kingdom is at hand. It's there knocking on the it's there. It's there knocking on the door. It's been a busy day. <clears throat> now we've already had healings in in the fellowship chat. We're baptizing two now online. One brought to Christ last night. River was telling us last night, I have I got the right one? Oh, if it's Rene, forgive me. Oh, I haven't got it to have a look at. Someone got saved last night. And we baptized them over the over here. Tell me the spirit is not coming. But he is coming because we've been I've had a prophecy to say that the gifts are going to be poured out. Are our arms wide open? Are we doing nothing else but waiting? Are we a Mary or a Martha? I've been a Martha too long, rushing around like an idiot. I want to be more like Mary, just sitting down and leaning on Jesus. Let's get the kingdom, guys. Let's start the praise and worship. Don't be embarrassed. I know it's a terrible sound system. Let's do it. And all I can say is thank you, Anna, for, for one, for sharing that. Please share uh, all of you, your experiences, your dreams, your visions. But I'll leave you with that and say, may God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you this day and always. God bless. <laughs>